CARBEX is a new global public-private partnership funded in part by the United States government in partnership with the major institutions in the United Kingdom. The goal is to dramatically restart global antibiotic R&D by providing hundreds of millions of dollars in preclinical R&D support over the next five years. Companies are finding it difficult to translate antibiotic R&D from the university lab all the way to patients. It's, it's difficult because the science is hard. It's difficult because the funding environment is, is, is dry. And also, large pharma has, is not interested in remaining in this area because the reimbursement market has been hard for them. So the goal for CARBEX is to, is to have many more opportunities for innovative molecules that target resistant bacteria to find their way out of the university research lab and into human clinical testing. So the AMR Centre has come out of discussions over the past 18 months between a number of parties in the public and the private sector based here in the North East. If untreated, AMR could kill 10 million patients worldwide by 2050, and that puts it as a significantly more dangerous threat, causing more deaths than cancer. We have a plan over the next six years to develop a number of new products for our partners. So our partners will be small to medium enterprises, biotechs, that have got some great ideas. And our job is to translate those through from those ideas to be able to treat patients suffering from a resistant infection. I think the north of England has always been a great, a great centre for innovation and discoveries. Uh, that's certainly true of this site at Lowley Park. Uh, there have been over 20 new medicines discovered at Alder Park over the last number of years. And some of those have been, been uh, new antibiotics. So the site has a great pedigree, a, a great track record um, at developing new medicines, I think predominantly. Great expertise in preclinical and clinical sciences, and all of that will be available to the AMR. AMR is a global problem. Bacteria don't need a passport to travel from one country to another. And so our solution has to be for a global antibiotic R&D fund.